Mike Dell's World, number 127, for June 20th, 2009. And I am in Columbus, Ohio. I just got done uh, with PodCamp Ohio, which was uh, all day today, and had a good good time there. And uh, welcome to any new listeners that uh, might have uh, met me uh, at the at the unconference, I guess would be the right term. Uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, excuse me, bumping the microphone there. I'm in the hotel on the uh, on the MacBook with the uh, Snowflake microphone. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick update. Uh, uh, PodCamp Ohio uh, was awesome. Uh, just a very well-run uh, conference or unconference or however you want to put it. Uh, so it was much much better organized than uh, some conferences that I've gone to recently. <clears throat> WordCamp. Uh, anyway, <laughs> WordCamp was was interesting and and all that, but uh, PodCamp Ohio two officially is what it's known as. And if you want to read all the uh, Twitter updates and whatever, search uh, PCO09, and that's the the tag that everybody's using for PodCamp Ohio stuff. But uh, yeah, it was held at the Milden Hall Laboratory at the campus of Ohio State University, and of course, those of you that, that know me, uh, I'm wearing a Michigan. Wolverine's hat uh, a good portion of the time when I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> so uh, going to Ohio State was a little counterintuitive, but uh, very nice people, and uh, they 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 let me uh, they let me in even though that I own more Michigan uh, hats than uh, than I do Ohio State hats. Although I do have an Ohio State hat that I bought uh, last time I was down here, and uh, I actually. Uh, I actually wore it uh, a little bit uh, yesterday, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, something counterintuitive about that, but uh, nonetheless, had a great time. Uh, met a lot of people. Uh, learned all kinds of things uh, that uh, you you guys will be hearing in uh, maybe not this podcast, but in uh, uh, my future uh, Geek of the North podcast. Uh, is that one I'm I'm still working out the details on. I want to get it just right before I actually start doing it. But yeah, like I said, it was it it, it was very uh, very informative, uh, very well attended. Uh, I think there was uh, upwards of about 200 people that uh, stayed for pretty much the whole thing, and then there was people that uh, straggled in and out. And uh, there was a whole lot of smart people, and uh, some smarter than me. Uh, probably a good majority of them smarter than me, but that's why I go to these things. So then I can become smart about those those things about podcasting. Yeah, this one's a little, little inside podcasting, but uh, yeah, so be it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that uh, now and again. Uh, it was... Uh, Interesting. There was uh, a lot of uh, people that had never podcasted, and there was even quite a few that had never really listened to podcasts that much. And I did a, a, a session uh, first thing uh, this morning on uh, podcast consumption 101. Uh, if you notice on the website, if you go to mikedell.com, there's a tab there that says PodCamp Ohio. And that's where I'm going to. I haven't posted it as of this recording, but uh, maybe I'll post it, uh, post some of it before I go to bed. But uh, of course, you guys that are listening to this don't need this advice. But uh, if you know anybody that you want to get into podcasting, uh, you know, point them towards my website and uh, that PodCamp Ohio uh, page. Uh, it's up there on the menu, across the top of the page, and that's where I'll post the uh, slides that I used and uh, other commentary about how to get into listening and or watching podcasts. Uh, 
see. I don't know how much background noise I got. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, the only thing I hear running right now is the refrigerator here in the, uh, the uh, undisclosed location in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, <laughs> it's a little motel along I-70 that I'm staying in. Uh, I take off uh, tomorrow morning, Father's Day. Uh, by the way, happy Father's Day to all that it applies. But I take off, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, whenever I get up, uh, hopefully, or at least planned, I want to sort of be on the road by 8 o'clock so I can be home by 4 o'clock or so uh, in time for happy hour with my uh, wonderful wife, Kathy, who uh, lets me participate in this kind of thing, even though it hasn't, uh, hasn't really paid off other than uh, it's a really uh, kick-butt hobby. And uh, oh yeah, uh, if you guys are going to be in Vegas for Blog World, uh, the Blog World and New Media Expo is in October. I don't know whatever that weekend is around the fifteenth of October. And, you know, it's funny. I, I never seem to get all these dates nailed right down. But uh, anyway, we're going to be there. Uh, Kathy and I are going, and uh, I believe that uh, the Duckmeister uh, John Martin from. The Ham Radio Pod Class uh, will be there also, and uh, along with uh, that, I'm I'm going this year as part of the Blueberry team, so uh, that'll be interesting. So uh, I'll be hanging around the Blueberry booth quite a bit. So if you're if you're there, uh, swing on by and uh, say hello. Uh, let's see what else is uh, interesting about PodCamp Ohio. Uh, Let's see. I, I, I definitely took more notes this time. Uh, this is this is probably the the uh, conference that I've taken the most notes on. Uh, all these different websites and different podcasts and different blogs and all that that, that uh, strike my fancy. I don't know. Lately, uh, in fact, on the on the ride down here uh, on Friday, about halfway down, I, I, I sort of ran out of podcasts. And I know that sounds weird to some of those some of those that uh, know me. Uh, I usually, you know, have you know thirty plus different podcasts that I'm subscribed to at any one time. But there just wasn't uh, a ton of stuff uh, out there. Uh, and what was out there? There was a couple of you know episodes of podcasts that I normally listen through that uh, I just had to hit fast forward on or you know go to the next one. Well, that ain't going to be the case on the way home. I've, I've subscribed to probably eight or ten different new podcasts <laughs> that I'd never heard of before. Uh, all, uh, all of the podcasters were here at uh, PodCamp Ohio, and it was uh, great meeting them, and uh, I'm going to give their shows a listen on the way home. Uh, one of them was uh, Cliff Ravencraft. Uh I don't know, you guys might have heard of him before, but uh, yeah, that guy can uh, can make some, some awesome, awesome audio uh, come out of uh, some, you know, fairly uh, basic equipment. And uh, went to one of his, or went to his uh, session on uh, podcasting hardware and software. And, uh, you know, what's nice is I've got most of the hardware. Uh, There's one more piece I need to get, and uh, and my audio quality is going to improve. Now, I'm not saying that on this podcast that the the audio is going to improve because, uh, you know, this this podcast is is what it is, and, uh, you know, I, I really like, the mind dump aspect of it to, you know, I can get on here and talk about whatever I want to and get it off my chest. And, uh, you know, the, the, the audio quality, as long as it isn't too hideous, isn't the important thing. But, uh, with the uh, geek of the North podcast that I'm, I'm going to be starting, you know, I might want to step it up a, a, a notch. And uh, let's see, uh, who else did I run into? Uh, airplane Geeks. 
<laughs> it's a kind of a group podcast about aviation. Uh, went to a session with the uh, guy that does that, and uh, I'm gonna have to give that a listen. Uh, he's an interesting character. Uh, now, now uh, residing in Toronto, Canada, used to live here in uh, Columbus, and uh, you know that's just right up my alley. I'm, I'm into into uh, you know being an aviation geek, and so it'll be nice uh, to. Uh, Listen to that one uh, as I gear up for Geek of the North, which will have an aviation component. And I, I don't know if I explained this fully to, to you guys. I'm going to have, uh, you know, a, uh, it's going to be probably a 30 to 40 minute podcast once a week. And I'm going to cover uh, aviation, uh, broadcast technology, uh, let's see, farming, automotive. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff, but uh, it's not going to be, you know, uh, it's, it's not going to be the same old tech. You know, there's enough people covering uh, phones and and uh, computers and software and that. Uh, so, but I'm also, at the same time, going to create, through the Blueberry PowerPress plugin and category casting, is I'm going to record the main podcast, and that's going to include all the different segments. And then there's going to be a category cast. So if all you're interested is in aviation, then all you're going to get, uh, if you subscribe to the aviation feed, is the aviation portion of Geek of the North. You won't have to listen to uh, the rest of it. And same thing you know, if you're into the broadcast tech. You're, you know, you can subscribe to the broadcast feed and not have to listen to the aviation or the farming or the, you know, this and that. I mean, I, I think I'm going to have up to eight possible categories. Now, every podcast isn't going to have something from every category. Uh, but, you know, if you subscribe to the main feed, you'll get the the whole long-form podcast. And if you subscribe to one or more of the category feeds you'll only get uh, you know those that you you want to and i think that'll be that'll be cool and you know i'm sure there's people that are interested in aviation but not at all interested in broadcast and uh, you know that's okay that's uh that's what i'm thinking of doing so anyway that'll that'll still be probably another month or two away uh, like I said, I, I, I'm I'm working the, I'm working this out so that uh, once I start it, that I'm going to stick with it. You know, if I was just to throw something out, uh, you know, this week for Geek in the North, chances are it would it would change, it would morph, and it wouldn't end up being a weekly deal. It would uh, be you know whenever I got it in my brain that uh, I wanted to work on doing it. Once I get the uh, format nailed down and the workflow m- nailed down, uh, I'm more apt to to do it every week. You know, and uh, you know, a lot of this is motivation. You know, as I explained before, the uh, strange today. You know, at first, it, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was interesting, and after a while, it became kind of a grind because I, I wasn't as authentic as I want to be with Geek of the North and, or, or as I am here uh, or anything else that I do, I, you know, I want to be authentic. So uh, I, I want to work out the uh, format to where that there's there's just no doubt that uh, it's something I'm going to be passionate about and it's something that I'm going to be authentic about. So anyway, uh, let me uh, gather my thoughts here and uh, while I'm at it, uh, let's, let's play a, a tune. Uh, this is a this is a band that's no longer together, unfortunately. But uh, they were the Upper Peninsula of Michigan's better bluegrass bands. Although this isn't necessarily a bluegrassy song, but uh, it's called uh, Frostbitten Grass is the name of the group, <laughs> and they were out of Marquette. I believe some of their members are still together out on the uh, West Coast somewhere. But uh, anyway, this is their song, Tango. Norte.
Okay. All right, my name is Gemini oh, Willie King. That? I'm a 41 year old Willie Master. Well, the Willie itself has been around. All right, I don't know what that was, but <laughs> live to the hard drive. Here I am. Ah, uh, that was uh, something else on uh, on that track. Uh, says there's 28 seconds left, so uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should have played that, but uh, I didn't. Anyway, uh, plan is, uh, like I said, get up early and uh, head on home to uh, Traverse City, Michigan. Uh, you know, every time I, I travel out, uh, it's always good to get home. And, uh, of course, I'm looking forward to the drive, actually. Uh, like I said, i got all these new podcasts that uh, I've downloaded and get to listen to on the way. Uh, another one uh, was uh, barely par- podcasting. <laughs> and that was kind of an interesting story. I, uh, in my talk, uh, you'll see, you know, when you, you look at my PowerPoint slides over there on the website, like I said, I don't know if they'll be up by the time you get this, but uh, they will be up shortly. Uh, but I do a comparison between broadcasting and podcasting, and, you know, I wanted to have a, an image. So I did an image, image search on a podcast and come up with this, uh, you know, naked guy in a barrel with a, with a, uh, you know, a cartoon drawing uh, with a microphone. And uh, it's a barely podcasting. So, well, hey, that'll be cool. So I put that up on the on, on there as the podcast image, uh, you know, when the podcasting versus broadcasting as far as a, a consumer is concerned. And <laughs> anyway, a little bit later in the day, I ran into the guy who is barely podcasting. And that was his logo, and uh, we had a we had a, a quite a nice conversation there. And uh, of course, I apologized profusely for uh, stealing his logo. He didn't care, but uh, anyway, he's out of the Chicago area, and uh, barely podcasting is kind of a uh, comedy sort of podcast, and uh, I'll definitely link to it. Uh, and, uh, Check it out. Uh, like I said, I haven't listened to it yet either. But, you know, what the heck. He did uh, a session on Audacity. Uh, of course, I, I'm familiar with Audacity. Uh, in fact, I've done several several of these podcasts using Audacity, uh, mainly the mobile ones. Uh, but I have done, you know, full versions of this podcast uh, strictly in Audacity and uh, of course, we do what's up with that. Uh, whenever I do the editing on it, uh, that's in uh, Audacity. And when Jim does it, uh, I'm not sure what he uses, but it's something more professional. Uh, and it's not Audacity, or not uh, uh, Audition. So, anyway. So, I'm planning on uh, taking off and uh, heading home in the morning and uh, so I really don't have a lot more to, to say. I might uh, do some mobile recording on the way if uh, something strikes my mind but uh, I'll tell you what, my head's full of uh, new information and uh, excitement for the podcast space. Uh, I went to a, for, there was a forum there uh, uh, called Podcasting Sucks. In fact, that was uh, Courtney What's his name? His first name's Courtney. It's kind of weird. He's one of the guys from uh, the the uh, Airplane Geeks podcast, and he also does another one with a bunch of guys called The Guys. But anyway, he uh, you know was talking about you know how videos taken off, you know, with YouTube, and Vimeo, and all the different uh, you know video. Uh, social media and then of course the text-based social media the blogs the facebooks the this and that uh, but audio podcasting is uh, kind of dying it's not dying it's plateaued and and the reason it's plateaued is uh i think they're you know between you and me i think it's the smarter people that listen to the audio podcasts and uh as uh a lot of a lot of people have noticed, you know, smart people aren't the majority. 
<laughs> so anyway, take that for what it's worth. I'm going to play out a, a, another song here after I uh, uh, shut up, and uh, then I'll get this thing uploaded and uh, get to bed and uh, get ready to, to uh, make the long drive home. And in case you get this uh, sometime on uh, Sunday, uh, sometime before 4 o'clock Eastern, uh, you can go to MikeDell.com, hit the Track Me button uh, along the top, and uh, you'll get to see uh, where I'm at exactly and how fast I'm driving and all that stuff. So <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you later. And uh, like I said, I'll probably... Uh, I'll probably make another podcast here in a couple of days once I've once I've digested all the information that I've learned and uh, and uh, maybe pass on some more of that. So uh, it might be a, a multiple Mike Dell's World Week. Uh, anyway, so stay tuned. Catch me later. This podcast is part of the Blueberry Network. Find freshly picked podcasts just for you at blueberry.com. That's blueberry, no ease, dot com. I clench my fists, say a silent prayer as I walk along my weekly pilgrimage. I hesitate, not knowing just who I'll find in that stuffy one room in the village. She stands from her rocker, her eyes are on fire, but rapture becomes accusation. You didn't say you would be here today, it's the sanest of our conversations. Hysteria sets in as we drive to the clinic, like every other day. Reality gives way to an endless refrain. I left some things behind How did I get here? Am I losing my mind? Where am I going? And where did I come from? Where is my suitcase? And why can't I go? Fragments and pieces Locked up in her mind Her son is a nameless face Her jumbled thoughts leap to my uncle's name She cowers in disgrace Then suddenly sane Her wits are restored And memory returns a lost child Hopeful in finding not all is erased Our reunion is sweet for a while But hysteria sets in Driving home from the clinic Like every other day Reality gives way to an endless refrain Where is my suitcase? I left some things behind How did I get here? Am I losing my mind? Where am I going? And where did I come from? reaches its peak her lips brush softly on my cheek her heart forgets its etiquette a fleeting gift I'll never forget then hysteria sets in and we're back there again like every other day reality gives way to an endless refrain I left some things behind How did I get here? Am I losing my mind? Where am I going? And where did I come from? Where is my suitcase? And why can't I go home? Go home Why can't I
Everything, everything, that's all, folks.